Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who, for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished this race we're in. Study how he did it, because he never lost sight of where he was headed, that exhilarating finish in and with God, he could put up with anything along the way, cross, shame, whatever, and now he's there in the place of honor, right alongside God. I've told you these things for a purpose, that my joy might be your joy, and your joy wholly mature.